Hey Cards fans, Barry K with Cards for Days, and I'm always excited when there's new releases in the baseball card world, uh, but that is really overshow overshadowed by this. I have not seen a Fairfield box in the wild in many months. We're not going to open that today, uh, but instead we are going to look at the newest release, Allen & Ginter, Tops 2021. We're going to be looking for autograph cards and relic cards, but let's be honest. I'm hoping to get the arboreal set, huh? the trees, am I right? But uh, Allen and Ginter, you've got some great looking baseball cards, and then you've got the weird little minis, inserts. you got comedians, actors, football players, sharks, trees. Uh, that is the stuff that you either love this or you hate it. Uh, I was fortunate enough to find some of this at the uh, big box retailer tonight. So let's go ahead and rip it open. I would love to hear if you guys are into Allen & Ginter or not. It is a love-hate product, that's for sure. For me, I tend to not like Allen & Ginter all that much. So I did not buy a ton today when it went on sale online. But I do enjoy seeing the new cards. Hopefully we can get our Javi Baez and maybe some rookies like Alex Kirilov. Check that out. Let me turn off the autofocus real quick. All right. So Alex Kirilov is first up. And you can see the rookie card logo there on the left. And that is the basic design that they do not stray on the back. Now the front this year has like a the gold... Allen and Ginter font and a little different design there. Really like the look of the card. Very simple. Got a Brady Singer rookie. How about a Joe Carter? And then our first mini is backwards. It is a Willie Stargell. So that's your base mini. And here are some of those oddball designs. We got Murad. Not familiar with Murad. 42 in a series of 50. Bobby Dahlbeck, T51 Murad Reimagined. So that is one of the inserts. Bobby Dahlbeck and Tanner Hook. A couple of Red Sox hits there. So the hits in here, probably my favorite, uh, are the framed auto minis. Those things look fantastic. Would love to pull one of those, but the relics are nice. The relics remind me a little bit of Heritage. Very simple design. And how about Burley? Mark Burley. You don't hear that name or see that name on a card very often. And let's see who Baker is. There's a lot of these. The world's champions. Simon Baker, soccer coach. I've got a Mo Vaughn. Oh, and this mini just jumped out at us. That is an Ian Anderson mini. Nice rookie logo there, Ian Anderson. Very, very cool. All right. More weird inserts. The Birds of a Feather. The Sun Conure. Birds of a Feather insert. And Lou Gehrig. We're going to open both of the blasters tonight. So you can kind of see what you might expect in a box. J.D. Martinez. DJ LeMahieu. Joey Votto. We got a Alex Bregman. And the Alex and Bregman is the Brooklyn back, or the Allen and Ginter back. So if we compare here, a normal mini would look like that. And there's your Allen and Ginter back, or Brooklyn back. So not too bad. I always seem to pull Bregman's. Salvador Perez, historical hits. And a Jose Garcia rookie. All right, Yadier Molina, Tony Gonsolin, Carlos Carrasco, and the Uncle Larry Mini. He is a baseball personality. If you guys know much about Uncle Larry, I've never heard of him before, so shows you how much I know. The Giant Panda rallying back, and Giancarlo Stanton. All right, we've got four packs remaining. Again, there's no guaranteed hits. You're just trying to... To me, this is kind of a set collector or a variation collector. Got 
Canseco, Jared Walsh, Byron Buxton, and there is a black border Carlson from Slapshot. Jeff Carlson? Is that right? Was he in Slapshot? Uh, no, I am way wrong. Or am I? Let me know. Kind of looks like he's holding a hockey stick there. Very cool. And there is the Chris Bryant. The Murad reimagined. Chris Bryant and Joe Morgan. Sorry there, if I don't know all of my oddball cards. We've got Rangum. He's a softball player. I know that because I saw it in a video. Mark Canna. Zach Gallen. The Justin Verlander. And oh, here we go. The Silver Maple. The tree cards. That's going to be a hit for me. And Braylon Marquez, rookie card. All right, two packs to go. Let's get a top rookie. Let's do it. Let's get a Javi Baez, right? Tyler Stevenson, rookie. And Anthony, Mark Anthony, the pop star. There's Dylan Carlson. We'll take that. Dylan Carlson, he's having a decent rookie year. Again, there are not, no breakout rookies yet. So Dylan Carlson, we'll take that as a nice hit. We got Max Freed, mini. Let's, didn't check the back. It's a base. And Scott Pesednik. And... Carlson, uh, you know, just a Hollywood actor. Man, are these the Carlson brothers? Is that what I'm thinking of? Are those the two actors from Slapshot? There we go. Some Slapshot action. You guys will let me know. You guys will let me know. I I know I've seen Slapshot, but it's been a long time, and it was many years ago. All right, that is Carlos Martinez, Esteban Floreal rookie, Edgar Martinez, a Joe Maurer, Ginter back, and we've got the Bull Shark, Deep Sea Shiver. Shiver? Shiver? And Spencer Howard rookie card. So we got some rooks. We got some rooks. Uh, let's see if box number two can have ourselves a hit. I really love an auto mini. If if we're just asking for the moon, that's what we're hoping for. All right, what do you guys think? Alan and Ginter, are you for it? Are you against it? Does this video uh, so far help or hurt what you think about this product? To me, this is right up what I think, what I expected, and I'm not typically a huge fan. Harmon Killebrew, Cepeda, Meadows, and the world's largest, and that is the Bellaz 75710, the world's lar largest truck. The irony of having the world's largest on a mini card is not lost on me. Ken Griffey Jr., historical hits, and Kyle Tucker. All right, we have Justice Sheffield, Joey Bart, rookie. Very nice. Nice rookie there, Joey Bart. Maeda, and a rookie mini of Sam Huff. So a nice little Sam Huff mini. The Leopard Shark. So we're getting, we've got two shark cards and a Lou Brock. But the real question is, can we get more tree cards? Which I think all of them are relics. We got Michael Conforto, Kyle Hendricks, Vita Blue, and the Far, Far Away Caldwell 105. Is that a galaxy? Yeah. Interesting and educational at the same time. All right, we got a Cal Ripken Jr. These are pretty cool. I like the look of these cards. Kind of a surprise insert set. And Brad Keller. Do you guys have a favorite series of this or insert? And David Peterson. Luis Garcia, rookie. Carlos Delgado. And a backwards mini, Jason Hayward. 
Don't notice anything different about it. It was just backwards. The Birds of a Feather, Blue and Gold Macaw, and Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. All right, four packs to go. Let's, uh, let's get our hit and wrap it up. I got more cards to pack up and send out. D.D. Gregorius. Lavelle. Don't know who Rose Lavelle. Uh, pro soccer standout. Very nice soccer player. And Andres. Again, I am Jose Andres. He's a chef. We've got the rookie of Davey Garcia, and that is a Brooklyn back. Davey Garcia, Steve Garvey, and David Price. Can we not find a Baez? Oh, man. You guys see that? That is like calling your shot. Javier Baez. All right, now we're talking. David Ortiz, Moises Alou, the David Price Mini. We got the Rallying Back, the Brown Bear, and Jim Tomei. We got two packs to go. We are due for another tree. Come on, tree card. And this gentleman named Sanchez. Oh my gosh. Jesse Sanchez. And you guys see it right there. Anthony Rizzo, a Relic Mini. That thing is hiding a Mini. But look at that. Man, is there a way that I can straighten that card out? It is put in there crooked, which is super annoying. But that is awesome. And it, they left a little window out so you could feel it. The Anthony Rizzo mini framed relic. We got ourselves a hit. Not numbered. Not centered. Not on the Cubs. But that is a hit. Very cool. We got a black border Eric Hosmer. And the... Is that Sixto? Sixto Sanchez. And Paul D. Young. All right, two, one pack to go. Last pack. We got a hit out of one of our blasters. It was almost a great hit. Kyle Lewis, Aloy Jimenez, John Cruck, and the Derek Lee. It is Derek Lee. Alan and Ginter back. Forgot he was on the Marlins. He played for the Cubs for so long. And there we go. We got a beech tree, huh? Beach tree. It's a tree relic made of 100% beach. Just kidding. And Brickley. Brickley is Chris Brickley, a basketball trainer. All right. So let's look at some of the, I don't know, hits or cards that I set aside for really no reason. We've got some Ginterback stuff, Black Border, some rookies, the world's largest. Some slap shot actors. The big hit of the box. Javier Baez. Jason Hayward Garcia. I'm not sure why I put a shark there. But Joey Bart rookie. Ginter back Joe Maurer. Dylan Carlson. Tyler Stevenson. So some rooks that I set aside. Love the tree cards. The silver maple. Garcia. An Abreg. Ginter back. Ian Anderson rookie mini. Let's see here. Bobby Dahlbeck, Alex Kirloff. Those are some of the ones I set aside. And Rizzo. It is a relic. Game used auto, uh, memorabilia. It is not numbered, but still very cool. I'm going to see if I can figure out if you can manipulate that card to be centered. Or is it locked in at that oblonged angle? You can make it out there. If that was better centered, it would be an awesome card. And if he was still on the Cubs, it would be even better. But anyway, there you go, guys. That is our look at Allen and Ginter. I've got a few more boxes on their way, uh, but I did not pick up a bunch because it's, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but we will, we're going to open that box sometime soon. I do miss opening these Fairfield boxes. One and eight contain a hit. We're going to hold on to that and open it some other time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Alan and Ginter. Take care, and we will see you guys soon. Bye.